Ah, it's working. That's hilarious. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to Main Assembly. So, a little while ago, I found this image. Insert image here. And I thought to myself, huh. yeah, let's try, let's try and make that. So this happened a few months ago and I made it, but apparently I either deleted the recording of me making it or I didn't record me making it. So, um, this is my first attempt at it. Yeah. And actually, I do like to record myself making it just to prove it. And also, I find it just quite satisfying. So, this is my first version. Um, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't work at all, really, at all. I think what I found out, I'm pretty sure it makes like a decent gl like glider. Yes. <laughs> Go! Go! Nope, never mind. It makes crap. <laughs> so the reason I, I made this so long ago and kind of I haven't talked about it is just because how hard it was to get it to fly. And what actually my first thought was was about like the weight, and I wanted it to be like pretty accurate to the picture. So the problem with this thing is like you have all this like mass here. And like, then you have, but you have the thrust all the way up here. And also like your wings are pretty much almost like directly below it. So that just, that's just a problem in itself. And that's why, like you saw, it's kind of just flung all over the place. There's just, there's no like stability in, in this. The only good thing about this is that how like narrow it is right here, it actually acts as like a... Pretty much has like a, a vertical stabilizer so that's where i kind of that's how it kind of stays um straight like when i got it to start going so i was pretty happy about that one however like my first thought was moving like all the mass pretty much up here trying to make trying to get the center of thrust and the center of lift kind of like in the same line and that just it it's just too heavy and I couldn't get to work at all. So my second my second attempt, like I kind of gave up on using trying to be accurate, and just because how how far off like the center of the uh, thrust is. It pretty much no matter what I did, it pretty much acted like a pit, like a pinwheel. So I kind of had to cheat a little bit, and I put some <laughs> I put some thrusters down there. I think is this. I can't remember if this is where actually where I got to take off or not. No, this is where I started acting like kind of like a, like a decent glider. I want to see if I can actually like take off. I think yeah, I was using this little like cliff here, little takeoff point. Let's see, actually, oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> I really should have prepared for this video a little bit more. But. Eh, oh well. Alright. Actually, no, I think my problem. Yeah, it, there it is. It, it glides decently. And what I realized, it doesn't take off the ground at like at all. So then I moved on. I think I, I think this next one I got rid of the wheels. Yeah. Got rid of the wheels. And it actually it works so much better without the wheels. Oh, and also, I messed with like yeah, okay. So this is where, yeah, this is kind of like where it, it um, actually turned into a pretty decent glider. <laughs> and if actually you notice, what I love the best is that nose. It actually acts as, acts for like some stability, <laughs> which I think is the best thing ever. And after that, I realized, I, I think I was actually kind of onto something. So then I just started to mess with like the power of each. Uh, thruster and that's where it brought me to this right here and it's, it's pretty much the same same thing but I messed with like the shape of the like the elevators and 
and um, the power of the thrusters on the bottom and the top. And I actually, it actually works um, fairly well. As you see, it takes off pretty smooth. Um, the problem is that's actually like trying to pitch down. Actually, that's me like moving it like that. But for me to really pitch down, I pretty much have to turn off the engines. However, but it, it does, like it, it actually flies really smooth. Like how it turns, like it, like I'm surprised how well it turns. I thought it was going to be a absolute nightmare because there's no like yaw control. However, like just using roll to turn, it I'm I'm actually pretty proud of it. However, I mean just because like I try to be kind of like for the most like a purist. Um, I was hoping to reach out to you guys. If you, if you if you have any desire to kind of see if you can get it to actually fly with using only thrusters on the top because obviously I'm cheating and <laughs> it just it's not true to form because okay, I'll just pull out because ma majority of the center of thrust is it's pretty it's like it's all right here I I this I just got like, I think I got a couple stacked engines right here, and the way it works is I I initially turn those on just to get me get me going, then then I turn on um I, oh wait no I'm sorry I have three I have three of the engines on and the top one on and the top one actually it actually does act as a stability as well. Because I'll, I'll turn that off here in a second. But it actually helps push it down. <laughs> Which, I mean, you could mess with the throttle and all that, but I wanted to use... I wanted to make this... That, that engine right there at least sort of useful. So it does something. <laughs> and I, I mean, when I want to actually pitch pitch up, I have obviously the, the elevators right there. But I also have the another engine in the bottom turning on, so it actually gives me more... Like momentum up. Then I'm pitching down. I pretty much, if you really want to go down fast, you really just have to just turn like all the engines off. And I, and I could make a like a like a bearing throttle, like I've done on other planes, but I didn't really feel like I needed to just because I'm already like I'm already like not going true to form. So. I'd love to for you guys to give this a shot. I'll um I'll upload this to the to the workshop, and or you can make it your yourself. Because I mean we're all pretty happy with the design. I think it looks fairly accurate to the picture. But if anybody could actually get this to fly <laughs> with just like the thrusters, thruster on top. If you need to like stack thrusters, or whatever, like put them inside each other. That's fine. I don't, I don't care about that. It's all about the position, in my opinion. Just because there's no way for me to actually, there's no way for me to fly with just one thruster. It was just, it was impossible, at least for me. I messed, it, I, yeah, I got some weights right there. Like, I messed, trust me, I messed with weights a lot. And I gave up on this for months. And I just kind of said, screw it. And I cheated. <laughs> and actually, move on the program. And which one is it? Yeah, this one. We'll just take this one off, and I'll show you guys how it works without that. <laughs> so actually, as you can see, it actually helps, which honestly I <laughs> kind of surprised. I just wanted to use it just to uh... <laughs> just to show I used it, <laughs> but it actually adds like some uh, um, linear like stability. <laughs> But however, I mean, shorter video, so hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I can see some of your guys' creations. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>